Yeah, so guys, I'm here, right? So look, look, right, you can see this, hold on. All right, now look at that. Now it's Sunday, they go to church. It's 3.45 in the morning. Now, I want to tell you, I know why they're up. I know where their light's on. I understand they could even be in the bed sleep, but the persona, the image that they're going to give off is that they're alive. I mean, that they're awake and they're up and they may be roaming around. And that's trying to kilter or throw me off a kilter that they think I have every time I'm coming out here. See, I put them in fear and I haven't really put them in any fear because I, like I said, I, you know, some, the most I says, you know, he'll make your enemies as your footstool. And so if you still have your parents in your life, if you still have anybody in your life that's doing you wrong, then you have to use them. You have to use them. They try to use you. They're using you for clout. You understand? Your own family is using you for clout amongst the demons. You understand? So then they have to pay. They have to pay. And it doesn't matter if they want to pay. They don't have, they're don't. they not going to feel like they, they should owe you anything. That's the funny thing about these demons. They know what they're doing, but they never feel like they owe you anything. That's why you have to make it clear that you understand that they owe you something. And it doesn't have to be, you, like I said, everybody's different. So you know your family, like I know mine. And you know how you have to deal with them, like I know how to deal with mine. And I know that these people here, my family, they like to deal with threats. You know, they want to deal with empty threats. They like trying to do something for you only so they can threaten you to take it away. And that's a true uh, trait of a narcissist, a uh, demon-possessed uh, thing. You understand? That's what they do. So, you know, the whole time they'll make it, you know, they only help you out. Now, the, now take this right now. Your parents should never talk about what they did for you. Number one, it wasn't a choice for us to be here. If you're, we're not talking about the most high and the spiritual aspect. Let's talk about, let's just deal with a one-dimensional level of thinking, right? On a, on a one dimension, we didn't choose to be here, right? We didn't choose to be here. Your parents chose to have you. Now, we know that we chose our parents spiritually, and we know that. Thing. I'm just talking about on a one-dimensional level. That's just for the for conversation purposes. They chose to have kids. We didn't choose to be here. So, therefore, don't talk about what the fuck you're doing for your kids, no matter how old they are. Number one, they wouldn't be here on this planet. It's your, it's your objective to make sure that they get into the best uh, positions of success, no matter how old they are. There isn't a limit on help. There's no limit on love or or age limit on love or help. You understand? What they do is they'll make it seem like they're helping you, but the help is only to control you. The help is only to control your emotions, to make you uh, feel like you're in debt to them, you're indebted to them. Um, these are why if you feel like your family may hold things over your head, not just hold ten, it's always finances or it's always, um, you know, they always have to give you something that they can look back to as a point to saying, Oh, we look what we did for you. And then what they'll do then is because if you need help and they know why you need help and they know why you're in the situation you're in, then they make it seem like you're a nuisance or you're a hassle or you're an issue, you're problematic, and it's always something that you need. Now, mind, mindful, you really haven't gotten shit for them. You know I mean, if you really looked on the whole grand scheme based on all the shit you've been through and nine shit out of ten, the reason why you even need financial help is because of the shit that they are complicit in. So, like I said, it's one big joke. They're all one big joke. And you have to let them know that you know they're a joke. And I do it in subtle ways. And so, this is why they're up. They're up because they don't know how I'm coming. They don't know if I'm coming in the house if I'm upset. They don't know if I'm if I'm okay, if I'm chill. And so, I mean, the only way that you would really be up at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, worried about the mood of your son is if you were guilty and complicit in things that your son could possibly hold against you. So like I said, their actions speak louder than words. And you don't have to ask them for anything because they're not going to tell you anything. You just have to look at how they move. And what I'll do is I'll make them move weird. I'll make them do what they're doing right now. This is me. Now, what I, I said some things in my home that I won't repeat. And this is why they're acting. You know, this is what this mood is for. They're acting because of some things I said, which had put them in a, a position to feel a certain way. You understand? So that's why they're here. So again, please be cautious um, in how you say things because know that they're always recording you just like you may be recording them. You understand? They're always trying to set you up. That's why when I go in the house and I say certain things, I don't say, you know, I don't say it out loud. You know, tone is everything. Context is everything. And you have to use context and tone 
when you speak to these people because like I said, they're just walking, uh, walkie talkies. And anything that you say to anybody is liable to be repeated to their handlers, which has already been heard. You know what I mean? If they're, they're you know, they have entities that are in the room with you, like they're in the room with them. That's why you see them acting weird. That's why when you start asking certain questions, if you ever wonder why they don't want to talk about certain shit, it's because entities that they can see or they can feel are around them that are causing them or reminding them of who they are and who they are and whose they are, which is not the most highs. So that's why they make symbolism around you. If you peep hard enough, they'll show you all kinds of symbols. They do all types of stupid shit, and you'll be like, well, who the fuck else is here? You know, you get the sense that they're, like, acting for someone else. So, like, someone's in the room listening to them, and that's why they can't, you know what I mean? It's like, it sounds like they're always withholding something. You know, it's like it's never always 100%. It's always, you know, that 20%, 30% that they may give you, and there's a whole 70, 80% of shit that you're missing. So, like I said, man, you gotta treat your family like you treat them, like they treat you. You know, don't, you know, most of us says, honor your mother and your father, yes, but if they're honorable, that's, you know, honor your mother, father, but they're not honorable. I, my parents are honorable, so that's why I never really looked at that scripture and felt any type of way because I looked at my parents. You know, you, you know, you may, you know, you may, you you respect them as much as you being alive, but when you understand spiritually that they manipulated even the that concept of being alive and how you got here for some people, then you really have to just look at it, man. And you, you have to really look at it, understand, and say, you have to apply it to yourself. It has to make sense for you. And my parents aren't honorable. It's not honorable about them. They don't even honor themselves, you understand? Because they don't honor anything in that Bible. You know, they don't do anything in the Bible. Anytime I bring up scripture that's actually going against what they're doing, they don't want to hear about it. And that's like I'm going to know they're demons because my mom grew up in the church. So how the hell you wouldn't want to hear about the Bible and you grew up in the church? My grandfather was a bishop. She was a, on the choir, grandmother, all that other shit. So I don't know how the hell somebody been in the Bible all that life and say that they're a devout Christian. They love the most high. They sing on the choir. They deaconess of the church. They all this. Well, somebody sharing scripture about things you can that related to the, your actions, it, it may sting, but that's why you go to church every Sunday, right? You don't go to church every Sunday to be coerced and smooth and and massaged, right? I thought you said you go to hear the word. So we know they don't hear the word. They want to hear shit that only makes them feel comfortable. You understand? And what you'll notice that the only time the pastor was really preaching something of any substance is when they were trying to troll you. You understand? That's it. They were trying to make you feel uncomfortable. They were trying to troll you. And meanwhile, the things that's crazy about it, the things that they control you about may not be half of the shit that they're doing behind closed doors. I'm saying that's what they like to do. They like to also put the notice on you and put blame on you so that then it makes them feel better or makes it feel like, well, he's supposed to be the most highest child and he's out here smoking weed or he's out here and he's whoring around, you know what I mean? So they, but meanwhile, they having sex with their family members, having incest, they out here plotting, doing black magic, witchcraft, spreading lies, setting you up for failure, you know, booby trapping you, you know, they got, the list goes on and on. So don't let them feel like, don't, don't let them make it seem, they ain't, there are no angels, okay? There's no angels in the hive mind, for sure. There's no angels in the collective. There's, there's no above all, there's no special cadet in, 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 the, in the demonic realm. They're just those given powers by Satan, which he's manipulated from the most high. So watch your family, watch your back, and treat people how they treat you.